Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Brand New Console Mods, where we have five new mods to look at for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Yesterday, I asked you guys to choose a race for the Skyrim build, and I had 59 different replies, more than I expected, which is awesome, and I can tell you that the race which had the most votes was the Dunmer, the Dark Elf. Now, we have our race for the build, and next up in the comments section, we can choose the genders. So, whether our Dunmer is male or female. Also, if you have any good ideas, feel free to suggest names and I will take all the best suggestions I come across and let you guys pick the name as well. Anyway, we have five mods to look through, so let's jump into the first one. Artificial Hydras are very rare, and this mod only adds one non-respawnable Draken Hydra. There is a Nordic dungeon inside the mountain of High Hrothgar. The monastery of the Greybeards protects the secret door that is in the end of one of the halls, and it's guarded by a new Greybeard Keeper. The tomb is almost destroyed by the incredible destructive power of the longtime captive Chimera and her minions. The Greybeards and Parthernax managed to imprison the beast a long time ago in a terrible battle when several Greybeards died during the fight. Being the Order has so few remaining, it was decided too risky to fight the beast and so instead they locked it away forever. The Beast Keeper will no longer let you pass into the dungeon in case it escapes. If you want to pass, you need to choose whether or not to kill the Greybeard or the Gatekeeper can be simply pickpocketed as well. Inside the dungeon you will have a great boss fight and is designed to be extremely tough for you to kill. The Hydra is tough but a constant supply of fiery enemies is going to be very tough to deal with as well. If you do manage to kill this flaming beast and his minions, loot his corpse or rewards including a new helm which is is the Drakian Hydra Head. Increases fire resistance by 40% and fire spells do 25% more damage, plus dragons do 25% less melee damage to you. Overall, it's a cool mod, adds a new beast but gives it some lore, which is awesome, and the helm, while not the most aesthetically pleasing, does have good enchantments on it. I think it's definitely worth trying this one out for yourself, as it was a lot of fun. Next up guys, we have the Magic Run Fix. This mod is a simple one and fixes the animation that you have while running. When you have magic equipped, essentially it removes the stupid looking running animation that you get and it gives you back just a regular run because why would you need to run differently when you have magic equipped anyway? A nice mod because I agree, the magic animation while running is very strange. Our next mod is called Skybit, Retro Skyrim Overhaul from Sarcastic Dragon. This mod replaces thousands of textures in Skyrim with pixelated ones instead. It will essentially give your game that Minecraft look, if that's the kind of thing you want to have in game, and there is not really much info to give you about the mod as it is just a texture replacer, but in conclusion it's very bizarre seeing everything pixelated, but it is actually pretty cool. Next we have the Autumn Reviri Simple Rift and Player Home. A simple, cozy player home with various, albeit minor to a degree, Dunmer influences located immediately outside of Riften. Complete with custom storage containers for nearly everything and areas for smithing, enchanting, cooking and alchemy. To obtain the key to the house, read the note that's on the step to the front door and the house's previous owner will be somewhere in the mentioned destination. Now the house is compatible with multiple adoptions but there is no actual space for children inside. The house itself I must admit is really cool looking though. On the outside it has a full forge and a fishing pier. Inside it has all the basics you need, all crafting stations, a bed, a place to cook, sit and eat, plus storage, so a simple home but very nicely made. For our final mod, we have the Magical Staves and Staff mod, and this mod is from the same author who makes the Magical College of Winterhold, one of the game's most popular mods, and this mod is in fact an add-on to the Magical College of Winterhold, and is designed for improving staffs in-game. The Staff Enchanter in the Archmage's Quarters is now called the Archmage's Staff Enchanter. Staffs and staves are crafted with different recipes at the Archmage's Staff Enchanter. They are crafted with the appropriate spell tomb and filled soul gems, rather than having to know the spell and use a heartstone. Previous unobtainable staves and staves are now craftable at the Archmage's Staff Enchanter as well. They are the Fire Rune, Frost Rune, Lightning Rune, Frenzy Rune, Ash Rune, the Poison Rune, Sunfire, Vampire's Bane, Heal Undead, Necromancer Healing, Seeker, Ash Spawn, Dramora Lord, Mist Man, Wrath Man and Bone Man. Staffs and stays are affected by perks they were previously lacking, for example Intense Flames. Staffs and stays are skilled in power to match their spell counterparts now, and unenchanted staffs and stays are craftable at the Archmage's Staff Enchanter as well. Overall, a really cool mod. Well guys, that is it for today's mod video. If you found this one useful, leave a like and comment. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe for daily Skyrim and Fallout content, and I will see you all next time.